Hi, this is Soul Gardening with Ann the Grower, where you learn to cultivate the soul so it is flowering and fruiting. Last weekend, I was driving back from Dallas when there was a traffic jam. And at best, the cars were moving about five mile, miles per hour. And at worst, we were at a complete standstill. But it got me thinking about how we all have areas of our lives where we're not moving like we should be, or we're not moving at all. And this lack of movement may be physical, in that maybe we rarely move, leave the house, or when we come home from work, we're more like a couch potato or we're glued to the computer screen. Or maybe we have predictable behaviors and we don't change with changing circumstances, like the ever evolving needs around us or within us. And lack of movement can be emotional and that we're not experiencing the full range of emotions or expressing them in the most constructive and creative ways. Lack of movement can be mental and that we may be clinging to an old outdated belief system such as a version of our lives that's fictional and which ignores some of the traumatic truth. But lack of movement in any area can turn into a traffic jam. Our lack of movement can restrict others' movements, just like with cars. And others' lack of movement can keep us at a standstill. Most people are comfortable moving in only one way, in my experience, either moving ourselves or moving others, when both are essential, just like with traffic. So I'd like to encourage you to look at the areas where you're not moving and physically, emotionally, mentally, make some changes and look where others aren't moving and help them along. And if you're struggling in how to do this, contact people you know and trust, or you can always reach out to me, Anne, A-N-N-E, at annthegrower.com. All for now.